People who watch this show, listen to the show, I know you're high-enders. Uh, look, this doesn't affect me anymore. I used to be a cheese hound. I loved cheese. And I still do love plant-based cheeses, and they still come up with a whole lot of plant-based cheeses, but I don't eat any dairy anymore, and I don't... Uh, so, but, but I still try to follow this stuff for you guys, because I know most people do. And as I say, I used to love camembert cheese. Mm. Blue cheese and camembert. The nastier, the more... Stinkier. Edge. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that stuff. Loved it. So, camembert cheese... According to French scientists, could disappear completely. Why? That's right. What? Yeah. Why could that be? Because of the decline in this fungus that gives the camembert and blue cheeses that unique taste, smell, color, and texture. This is a big deal. Don't they culture it? Don't they just have it? Apparently not. I mean, it is a. Uh, a pungency that's in trouble. Pungency what kind is a thing. Sham, word. are they running over yeah. there? Come on. It's because of a decline in the strains of fungi that that are in the cheeses. You know, so um, blue cheeses they say may be under threat, but the situation is much worse for camembert. It's much worse for camembert. Mm, no. Already on the verge of extinction. <laughs> The cheesemakers insist that the problem isn't dire yet, but they do say that producing cheeses like camembert is getting harder. They're, um, the way it works, I guess, um, is that the fungus is introduced into the cheese and then it's aged, okay? So you have to have that fungus, uh, and it has to be perfect, and it has to be aged and put into the what is really just, um, it's milk, right? I mean, it's like a, it's, it's a dairy. And then it's aged, and then you get that perfect tasting cheese. And in the early days, fungi existed naturally in the air, in the damp caves where this was uh, evolved, right? But now it's a big business. So cheesemakers don't do it in caves, they do it in labs. And this one particular albino strain camemberti that produces the perfect white rind uh, is something that is used. There's a microbiology in it. There's, and again, this fungus. Hotter temperatures, changing rainfall patterns, and more frequent extreme weather events are altering delicate ecosystems. And it is getting harder to get these fungi and the world's largest dairy company and maker of the popular uh, President Camembert cheese in France said, uh, this is a real problem, but do not worry. We are, we, are, we are okay. We are committed to preserving the biodiversity and safety of the ferments, they say. Our mission is the sustainability of know-how and cheese heritage, of which ferments are an integral part. They are scientists, Kim. That's the point. Sure. So... Um, those of you who get the Cheese Lover Daily, I'm sure this will be covered. Uh, the Camembert, again, they may have it, but if you're a Camembert consumer, you may notice that it starts to taste and even look a little bit different because of the lack of this uh, fungus. It's a real thing. And um, if you want your Camembert as it is, you may only have a couple more years when that's the case. So. The Mark Thompson Show. It's the grim reality, cheese eaters. What can I tell you? We give Whoa. you the good and the bad. Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell. You'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped, and please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.